All right, let's talk about it. So honestly, I'm not gonna drag this video all too long. Uh, you're not living under the rock. You already know the 49ers beat the Cowboys in this divisional round of the playoffs at home. 19 to 12 was the final score. Both uh, both defenses showed up. Brock Purdy did okay. Not a great game from Brock Purdy from from his standards of uh, what the 49ers what he had the 49ers offense looking like since he's been in the lineup, but. Cowboys defense was never Cowboys defense like isn't a isn't a slouch out there, right? And then of course we, we're gonna get to Dak, and this is really what this video is mainly about. Dak Prescott, Dakota Prescott. 23 for 37, 206 yards, one T D, two intels, only was sacked one time. Now there was of course there was some pressure on him throughout the game. But man, this was just a terrible game from Dak, considering the game that he just had last week. Where he performed, he put on, man, he put on for sure. So I kind of had high expectations. I look at this 49ers defense and I'm like, they can't be had. I really think they can't be had. And I thought I thought the Cowboys really would have a chance to put up at least, I thought they would put up at least 20, 20 to 24 points on, on the 49ers. And this would be a, a game won by a field goal or so. But uh like I said, it was um it was it was a super a low scoring game. But it really came down to Dak and his mistakes. And honestly, I don't know what the Cowboys do from here. Of course, you can't it's not trade him. Cap hit is too crazy. You can't release him. Uh, I think he just signed this deal. What was it? Two two seasons ago, I think it was like a five-year deal, something crazy. I think he's getting about a little over $40 million a year. Let me let me just see something real quick. I even have this pulled up. I wasn't even going to talk about his contract at first. But let's just see. So he signed a four-year one uh four year 160 so it's only 40 a year and honestly the cowboys messed up when they did this because the before before he got that extension he had he had a breakout year his contract year but before that they were offering him i think somewhere around 20 to 25 million a year and uh they missed out on the chance and then they had to end up overpaying him just like they overpay zeke that's why you got to get these guys early man you try to be cheap and it comes back and bite you when the team is performing, and, and when the team when the, uh when the team is performing, and now you just can't let them go because you know your backup isn't good enough to uh, compete in this situation. So, uh, that that came back. Uh, they signed him for for the forty million a year, and now he has about two. He has two years left on his deal. Let me see. Does he have a player option? Let me see. I just want to see if there's any player option. He has a no trade clause too. Oh my god. Um. Okay, yeah. So he has a no trade clause and he has a no tag clause. Okay, copy. But um, yeah, you missed out those that that extra fifteen fifteen million or so, fifteen to twenty million or so could have been used allocated across uh across this team. They could have kept a guy like Amari Cooper if they would have paid Dak. Um, so you would have had Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb. Michael Gallup, Don Schultz, Tony Parlor, Zeke. That's a formidable offense. You you definitely need another guy because Gallup coming off the ACL injury wasn't the same as before. And he's 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 solid. He's not he's not a great guy. He's a he's a solid player. So for Dak man to underperform, when you you could have put him in a you could have put him in a better situation if you would have just paid him. But uh, yeah man, I I I don't see I don't see. How all the blame doesn't go on go on him, man. The Cowboys defense kept up their end of the uh kept up their end. And they, they sacked Purdy two times. They 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 probably I don't even know what the pressure stats was, but I'm sure I'm sure Brock Purdy was pressured more than the Cowboys, just off the eye test. I mean pressure more than Dak, just off the eye test, and he handled it well. He didn't put up no he didn't put up crazy numbers, but he had four less completions with about Eight more yards and no turnovers. That's the key stat, no turnovers. And honestly, Dak threw two picks, but he honestly probably should have threw four, and he should have threw a game sailing pick to, I think it was Greenlaw, who dropped one right in his chest. Literally, he was running. It was only like for, like for it was only going to be like a 20-yard return to the crib. So he dropped that, and and, and like I said, it could have been worse. Dak, Dak missed some throws. Uh, He missed – there was one he, he had Gallup open on like a, a – a double move, like a fake corner and up. And he missed him on that. He threw it way inside. He had some other missed throws. He had some that 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 sack that he did take 
that he did take this game was a terrible one as well. He also had a play towards the end of the game where he almost took a sack in the end zone. He didn't throw the ball away. He held on to it. And luckily for him, I, I can't remember who the defender was. They they just let go for some reason. Like they, they, it's kind of like they were scared to tackle him in, in case they got a flag. So he broke out of there. And, of course, game ended not too long after, right? But, man, I, want, I wonder what the Cowboys do with Dak because... Uh, I don't know if he could get any better, but the problem is, to be fair, I don't think there's two, there's, like before we used to have a bunch of elite quarterbacks, we'll have maybe five to seven guys who are, like who you thought was elite in the NFL, but realistically, I could say the only main elite quarterbacks right now that I say, yo, I want without a shadow of a doubt, like he's the only two quarterbacks that I'm saying, I'm taking them under any uh, circumstance. Give me Mahomes, give me Joe Burrow, and of course those are the two in the uh, AFC Championship. Uh, Lamar's a close third, but I gotta see a little bit more. He's gotten injured the last two years, so I'm a little skeptical. But as far as this, it's for me, it's Mahomes here, Joe Burrow like right here. Then you got the tier with the like the Josh Allen, Lamar, and stuff like that, and then it's everybody else. So like it's a huge drop off. So realistically, you only really have about. Three to four really good quarterbacks to me. And then everybody else is either just above average or, or, or bad, I could say, right? And I want to see what the Cowboys do from here because Dak definitely lost on this game, bro. You hold the 49ers to 19 points. They were at home. You got to get it done. They You help. Bro, look. The 49ers, one of the great running teams. They Kyle Shanahan could scheme up a run and held on to three and a half yards per carry, so. Can't be mad there, man. Just that didn't get it done. And I would love to hear what you guys think about that, man. I'm out. Peace.